Hey guys, what is up? I am the Original Gamer and today I've come to talk to you guys about the new Scuff Impact Controller. So today I'm just going to be talking to you guys about what I like about the new Scuff Impact Controller and um, what I don't like. Let's jump right in. Alright, so first off, I'm going to be comparing this controller to Scuf's very first model of their PlayStation Scuf controller, and it's called the Scuf Pro. So this one I got about two years ago on my birthday, and um, at the time I thought this controller was amazing, until after a while um, of playing with it, the trigger would get stuck, and I had to take apart my controller and uh, put the spring back in to where it belongs. Another trouble I would have is on games like Call of Duty, whenever you try spring it, by clicking down on the analog stick and, and uh, r pushing forward, um, it wouldn't click down. My controller analog stick would not click down. And I've, I've had that trouble for, uh, for a while. So as a result, I just stopped using my scuff controller for a while. But after that scuff pro controller, they came out with the scuff infinity controller. And this one is a huge upgrade from the scuff pro. On this one, you had so much more um, customization uh, styles. So you could like uh, change the faceplate. For example, right here, I have it pink. On the original one, you couldn't have a pink. You only have like normal base colors like white, black, blue, red, that kind of stuff. But on this one, you were able to change the color of the rings around your analog sticks. You were able to have different kinds of um, grips on the back of your controllers. And um, they even had the, the trigger, the trigger um, distances where you could just uh, spin this little uh, nozzle here halfway. And you only have to push the trigger down halfway to activate it. So after that controller, they came out with this one, which is by far my favorite scuff controller that is on the market. So this one, they changed the shape of the controller completely. It is shaped more like an Xbox 360 controller. And if you guys know how great an, an Xbox 360 controller feels, this feels amazing. You guys could already see the shape difference. Um, if you look at the, the normal controller, it kind of goes up more on the handles and it goes straight across and down to the other handle. While this one, it kind of has a diagonal shape up towards the middle and it goes straight and it has another diagonal shape down towards the other handle, which is really comfortable in your hands because not only do you have a better grip, but you could also reach the paddles better on the very back. Another great feature on the new Scuffed Impact Controller is that it has four paddles. That means you can have four different button assignments to each paddle. For example, I have my very left one as X and my very right one is triangle and with the two extra paddles I can have it as X, square, circle, and triangle. So that is really helpful for playing games like Call of Duty. So I just want to talk to you guys about the different games you can play with these scuffed paddles. Uh, for example, you can play games like Call of Duty, uh, which you guys can see me using, uh, playing with the scuff uh, impact controller right now. And it's actually really, really fun to play with this controller because I won't have to be shifting my controller from the analog stick to the X button or to the triangle button uh, just to jump or switch weapons. Now I can just press the two paddles on the back that I have to do whatever I want. I feel like I have more of an advantage over the other players with this controller because, I mean, it's, it's hard to constantly, like I said, switch different buttons and instead I didn't even have to move my thumbs at all. I, just, I was just able to click with my middle finger and my ring fingers.
Scuff controllers aren't really that useful in games like Overwatch because in Overwatch there aren't really that many buttons to press. It's just triangle, the bumpers, and the triggers. Um, the, I, I tried it on Overwatch. You guys can see me playing it right now. Uh, I hardly ever used it. I don't know, it feels weird using this, the scuff paddle on Overwatch. I assigned it to X to jump, but I mean, I, f I found myself using X instead for some reason. I, I have no idea why. But I feel like it's more comfortable playing uh, with X and I, I don't like assigning the bumpers or triggers onto any of the paddles because I think that just feels really awkward and I do not like that at all. Now, if you listen to the old scuff controller, when you click on it, you can hardly hear it. Listen. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that. And then they upgraded to the scuff pro controller, or the scuff infinity, I believe. And then you, now you can hear it even more. And then now with the scuff impact controller, it's even better. Hearing that click, ooh, helps me reassure myself that I've pressed the button down completely because I always, I've always had a lot of trouble with my blue controller um, pressing it and not knowing if I pressed it or not because sometimes you wouldn't be able to feel it click and that really worried me especially when I needed it on Call of Duty um, and then they just kill me so um, now with this click it helps out a lot and I love it it feels really amazing anyways guys that about wraps up this review uh, I just wanted to tell you guys the pros and cons of uh, this new controller that I got, and uh, hopefully you guys can get your hands on one of these uh, one of these babies soon. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, make sure you thumbs up this video and share it with some of your friends. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Original Gamer, and I will see you guys in the next video.